I'll tell you what it's about. In one word, it's operations like Iraq. If it wasn't for the triple lock, Irish soldiers could have been sent to Iraq in a war for oil and profit for US imperialism. There's a very conscious campaign by the political establishment, in particular the government in this country, to undermine what is left of neutrality. Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael want to get rid of what is left of neutrality in order to openly align Ireland with the US-led NATO and with the process of militarisation of the European Union. That is the agenda of the government. I would say it's a very bad time to be pushing such an agenda when the whole world can see uh, what their commitment to democracy, to human rights, to humanitarianism looks like when they look at what's happening in Gaza and the fact that genocide Joe Biden has cheered that on, the fact that Ursula von der Leyen gave the green uh, light uh, for it. Um, these are imperialist power blocks serving their own uh, interests, the interests of their capitalist classes, uh, just as the blocks of Russia and China do their way for, for theirs. Um, when we say that, when we say that the agenda here is to undermine neutrality, we have mock outrage from the government and actually from some political commentators who treat us as kind of wild-eyed conspiracy loons for having such a notion. Last week in, in Leaders' Questions, Micheál Martin did a great job in, in a great line of, of outrage. That, yes, no one's ever suggesting getting rid of neutrality. What are we possibly talking about? Well, if you go back to March 2022, Neil Martin, then Taoiseach, now Tánaiste, said that neutrality is a policy issue that can require at any time, it won't need a referendum to get rid of it. Fast forward a few months to June 2022, and again Micheál Martin, still Taoiseach, telling us that Ireland needs to reflect on military neutrality. He's consistently said we need to reflect on military non-alignment in Ireland and our military neutrality. We are not politically uh, neutral. So they raised it. You can find similar quotes from Leo Varadkar, similar quotes from Simon Coveney. It's very clear when Putin's imperialist invasion of Ukraine started, Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil thought, great, this is our opportunity to ditch the political straitjacket of the triple lock and neutrality and to align Ireland openly with the Western military and imperialist bloc. That was the plan. It came up against public opinion, which continues stubbornly in the face of all the exhortations for a reasonable debate to be a mature country and so on, coming from the politicians and from the political commentators. Big majority continue to defend neutrality. And so the strategy switched. It switched from a full frontal attack on neutrality to an undermining of neutrality from below in actions, by deed simply tearing it up from below uh, in terms of all the things that they were doing, and then to bring the, have the consultative forums with a definite plan in advance to recommend getting rid of this uh, triple lock. So they moved in action to sign Ireland up to the Ukraine Contact Defence Group, a body which is a NATO alliance, which meets in NATO headquarters where Ireland has participated again and again, just to involve Ireland in training militarily soldiers involved in a war and for Ireland to engage in the sending of uh, military assistance, um, but supposedly only paying for the non-lethal parts. And this is the second part of the plan then. I want to point out, by the way, that multiple political commentators uh, kind of ridiculed those of us who said that the Consultative Forum is already up and this has a definite plan. I mean, Pat Leahy, a whole bunch of pieces saying, ho, 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 where, are, where is this attack on neutrality? Well, here, here it comes. Here it comes. The only fig leaf provided for it is in this Consultative uh, Forum. You read the text of the Consultative Forum uh, report from Louise Richardson. While there was not a consensus on this point, the preponderance of views, especially among the experts and practitioners, is that it is time for a reconsideration of the triple lock that is no longer fit for purpose. It did its job. A completely stacked forum obviously comes out in favour of uh, getting rid of the triple lock and then the Tornashta is able to say and the government is able to say, oh, that's it, we had this process and now we're going to move on. Where, Minister, was the Citizens' Assembly? 
This Citizens' Assembly that Micheál Martin promised us. He said we were going to have a Citizens' Assembly. He said we were going to have a proper debate. Was the problem, very obviously, the citizens in that assembly? They had to get rid of the citizens because the citizens were not going to go along with getting rid of the triple lock. They were not going to go along with getting rid of neutrality. Instead, you had this sham process and an outrageous attempt behind the backs of the people to undermine and get rid of the triple lock. Next, they say, sure, this is the triple lock. This has nothing to do with neutrality. What are you possibly saying? Miel Martin, 18th of December 2013. The triple lock is at the core of our neutrality. <laughs> at the core of our neutrality. Miel Martin said it himself in December 2013. And he was absolutely right then. There is no mandate for this whatsoever. Fianna Fáil didn't campaign for it, Fianna Gael didn't campaign for it, the Green Party didn't campaign for it. The programme for government says very clearly all overseas operations will be conducted in line with our position of military neutrality and will be subject to a triple lock of UN government and Dáil Éireann approval. So what is this about? And the government refuses to answer the question, which sort of missions are you in favour of sending Irish troops abroad for? And if you read the Taoiseach's uh, speech to the Dáil last week, and you read his opinion piece uh, in the Sunday Business Post, he makes a point of saying, this is from the Business Post, uh, but he makes a similar point in his speech. He says, we'll get rid of the triple lock, but don't worry, quote, any deployment of Defence Forces, forces personnel abroad will always be within the parameters of international law and the UN Charter. That doesn't make any sense, Minister. I'm not sure if you understand, I'm not sure if Michael Martin understands, under the UN Charter there are two legal ways that you can send troops abroad. One, self-defence provided for under Bundracht and Heron, no need for a triple lock to be activated. Or two, peacekeeping authorised by the UN Security Council. So that doesn't make any sense. It, anything within the UN Charter will come within the uh, triple lock. He goes into more detail somewhere. He suggests it could be regional organisations, i.e. African Union, European Union, etc., could send troops abroad. Article 53 of the UN Charter is very clear. No enforcement action shall be taken under regional arrangements or by regional agencies without the authorisation of the Security Council. In other words, the requirement of the triple lock would be met. So what is this about? I'll tell you what it's about. In one word, it's operations like Iraq. If it wasn't for the trip a lock, Irish soldiers could have been sent to Iraq in a war for oil and profit for US imperialism. 